This is a whole new year coming up. A whole new world. And that's all time for tonight, you guys. Thank you for stopping by. And. <laughs>good morning and good glorious sunshine out oh there today. Oh my gosh. I feel like people can probably tell a difference when I say hello and good morning. Because <laughs> you mean it on the sunny days. On the other days you're just saying it. Like, hello, hello and good, good morning. morning. <laughs> Stupid cloudy day. <laughs> Do you know what? I was so grateful when I got dressed today because I know the shirt that matches mine is in the dirty laundry for you so you would be matching <sighs> I was looking me. looking everywhere for that. I didn't really. You can kind of see the room illuminated with light illuminated. beaming off of this one right here. Oh, Look no. at this spring gal. That's just my greasy hair. That's your forehead. I'm so. making it work today. I I did like the slick back pony with a braid. Feels like it just works. Yeah, it does. Maybe not, it but it's really, what it is. It's good. It's a great look for you. Shut up. <laughs> you know what? My hair is done. I'm showered and ready. I did three quarters of a workout because I have so many distractions. You had a lot going on. You smell mm -hmm. really good. I'm just noticing as I'm saying. Is it the close s'mores to you. cookie mm. that I just mm. ate that you yeah, can smell? Yeah, I don't smell? know. You smell fantastic. What did we get on here to say besides hello, good morning, it is sunny, it's beautiful, and what were you gonna say? I was gonna say the slide is being prepped right Guys, now. Guys, right now they have been out there digging a trench. Not really, they're just digging through the snow where the slide will go. So it's covered in snow, gotta dig that out. And for some reason, they're digging around the entire surface of the pool, which I'm grateful for. Like, hey, that's great. Could have done that for you if you would have told me. The entire decking around the pool, I think they're going to lay it out. See them right now? Oh, they're taking a piece up there. So I think they're gonna lay it out as it's gonna go. That's why there's shoveling. I'm a little bit worried. I mean, it was custom made for for that opening. But at the same time, a lot of it was just kind of guessing because we were building that hill. They just yeah. threw the pipe in there and said it's gonna go about here. We want it to come out about there. That would be so bad, I can't think of I'm it. I'm sure that they can adjust, but there are Certain two things. things that really can't be. The part of the top, that is where it is. I don't know, you could tear down the hill and re-plumb it or whatever. But that's where the pipe comes out that pushes the water, I the pump. Fine. And then the opening at the bottom, you could move that, but that would be a bit of a bummer because you'd have to cut major... different center block, restone, all kinds of different things. So do some surgery there. So let's see how it goes. I think what the plan is today is that they're gonna shovel all that off, get it all ready, and then they lay out like wood planks where it's gonna go because they've brought a bunch of wood planks. I don't think there's gonna be any like laying of slide pieces necessarily. No. But it is very, very fun to watch you guys. We are looking out this big giant window over there. I just think it's so fascinating. I think it's really cool. I'm excited. It is to do that fun. It is very fun to watch that come to life. Another thing coming to life, you. What? What were you gonna say? I was gonna say that's not the only thing going on today, you guys. Kids no. are getting prepped and ready for the next school year. Junior high night tonight. I can't believe it. I mean I can, but it's like we got crew and Ryler going into their next year of junior high. Mm -hmm. Ryler's last year of junior high. They're doing something kind of cool at the school that will help you walk through the options you have for classes, yeah. how that might translate into your high school career. Well, Ryler has hit the point next year being in ninth grade that it starts to matter. He's it gotten counts. great grades so yeah. far, but kind of really don't matter. When you're in seventh and eighth grade and you hit ninth grade, it right. counts towards your Even high like school. like a transcript sense, yes. yeah. I mean, they do count. Yeah, the study different. habits that they've learned, But yes. they will be registering for junior high classes for next year tomorrow. That will be happening. So we feel like we need to do our due diligence today. Go check out the classes. Just dial in those schedules so that when it comes time, I remember what that was like because if you wanted the ones you wanted, you had to be on there quick. You had to sign up quick. You want to know exactly what classes they're hoping to take. So tonight, going to be part of junior high night. What? I remember I pulled a prank on one of my friends in high school. We were cooking chicken and they always tell you to wash the chicken so I put soap on the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Mindy. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny and he ate it. He didn't even notice. Really? I told him later. Soapy chicken. Maybe that could be a new recipe. Speaking of, we are having chicken sandwiches tonight. We've got this whole day dialed. Oh you my guys. gosh, okay. Mom's headed to the school right we now to go. celebrate <laughs> Hazy's teacher's birthday. Put together a fun video and gift basket for that so that's kind of fun. I'm about to go pick up the kids, take them to Tumbling. I guess off to a friend's. Hazy's off to Stephanie's for dance. Mom's going to be here alone and then we will come back see the progress of the slide, get into our junior high class selection, and keep this beautiful, sunny, oh my gosh. spring day rolling. We are back with two of the four kids right now, and I'm glad because... These are the two hardworking ones. We got them emptying the dishwasher right out of the gates. Look at these guys. Tag team in this one, too. Brexton's doing some. Kirby's doing some. Now, we did just get back from tumbling on Tuesdays. I pick up these boys from school, go straight to tumbling, and then run some errands, chill, do whatever. Sometimes Ryder goes with me, hangs out with me. Sometimes he does not. Today, he did not. He went to a friend's house. Hazy went to Stephanie's house. She's at dance, or is she not at dance She's yet? a dance. She's a dance. We do have to pick her up. I always forget that part because she just kind of like goes I under the radar. I forget it, too. So and you so set some. I have alarms go off on my phone. Otherwise 
otherwise. Just lose track of who's where and when. Got these two boys home. They had a great time at tumbling. We are gonna be going over to the school. Now, mom, I don't know if we're all going. If we are, we're kind of curious as to why. Why would Hazy and Brex go to junior high night? <laughs> Well, we just want to give her all the tools she needs early on in life. <laughs> They're talking about that on the way home, and I was like, Mom did say that we would all go, but I'm actually trying to figure out why. I can just take them. Well, we can figure that out. But, Kerr, you're in junior high, so you do need to go. So we're going to be heading over to the school, school to do spirit. some junior high prep. Right now, though, it is warm enough outside that the snow has started to melt. The pool guys came and created some pathways, shoveled off some snow. I talked to them before I took off to get the kids to tumbling, and they said that they are done for today. Oh. Just are clearing the path, and they're going to let it thaw for probably one to two two days before they really go after it. So there's really not much more going on today besides them just clearing off a path, hoping that it thaws, but I don't know if they looked at the forecast. It's supposed to snow like two out of the you next know, three days. Actually, so. I've been told it's just best not to look at the forecast. Yeah, but right now, sunny outside, warm. We were actually like sweating in the car. I'm gonna go do a little bit of shoveling myself. I learned a trick, a little hack from the guys. They're out there, they're shoveling in weird patterns. And I said to Mindy, I said, I feel like these guys, they're professionals. They know. They're out there doing this stuff all the time. They have learned the more efficient way to remove snow. So there's something to their striped pattern that they're doing. Sure enough, I came back from tumbling. Everything around those stripes that they had no, shoveled I love it when you learn this is thing. melted. But I think what it does is it breaks that layer of insulation by narrowing it into little strips of snow and then it can melt. I'm gonna go do some strips of snow on the sport court and what's remaining on our driveway and see if that hack works, see if Let's it will see. melt. Let's you see. go do that, Brandon. <laughs> okay. Is it working? Yeah, it's honestly a super thin layer of like entirely slush, but stripe trick's gonna work, I know it. It's gonna work. <laughs> Woo, nothing but the net. We are desperate for spring. Crew has on shorts, short sleeves, and snow boots. Brexton has shoes with no socks, shorts, and a jacket. We just really want it really bad. Brandon is trying this method where you create stripes in the snow. It looks like the design might be working. We are hoping this week with spring break coming up that we are going to be able to bust out our uni pizza oven. It's one of those really awesome pizza ovens that like cook your pizza super fast, has either gas or wood, and do all different ways to cook it. We've just had it sitting in the box because we're like, it's so cold. We don't want to be outside. As things are warming up, hopefully next week we'll be able to use that. Timer is just about to go off to go grab Hazel from dance. I'm actually really excited because I feel like on Tuesdays I don't see her the entire day and I miss her a ton. I'm gonna go pick her up and come home, feed them, and then head off to junior high night. Cannot believe that like we're already thinking about the next school year. Time is just flying by way too quickly. Before we know it, we're gonna be in the middle of summer complaining that it's too hot. <laughs> So in the midst of all the other things mom has going on tonight, she has still been able to whip together a gourmet dinner. Why do I feel like you're roasting me right now? <laughs> you mean the same way you're roasting those frozen chicken patties, Mindy? Yeah. I will say this was requested by me, so I can throw that out there. I am not mocking you, I am thanking you. I'm just grateful it's on an actual bun that it belongs on this time yeah, instead this of like, like a, a modified French bread leftover hot dog roll. Still stand by those, those were good. Those were very good pizzas. But this is going to be traditional buns <laughs> and <laughs> frozen chicken patties. That's what's going down for dinner tonight. And I actually am very excited. It was one of my favorite meals. It's kind of a staple. I feel like I must have had this a lot growing up or something. I don't know. Love you guys. These two off to junior high night. Planning for some classes. Staying here with Rex and Hazy. Mom's picking up Rye Guy. Dude, can't wait to hear how next year's gonna go. Some fun changes coming. Love you, bro. Sebi! It turns out the reason that all junior high students are encouraged to go, whether that's their first year, last year, returning students, new students, because they are changing the way that they do junior high next year. Something to do with the number of classes, how long each one is. I think they're doing more classes in shorter increments, fewer long breaks, like a shorter lunch. I don't know, whatever it is, they need everybody there. Would like to have everyone there to kind of explain how that's going to work. In addition to helping them understand what classes are available, what classes they could take that would help them test out of certain things in high school, and just really understanding how to attack that junior high. Here in Utah, we do, so seven, eight, nine, what's considered junior junior high, I know some places do like a middle school and then you go into high school at grade nine. High school grades do start counting. You are officially a freshman at grade nine, but you are typically in a junior high setting here in Utah. So that's what Riley's getting ready for. Crew's going into eighth grade. They're headed off to learn all the ins and outs of what their junior high career holds in store for them. Coming up next year and registering for classes tomorrow. Can't believe how fast time flies. 
mom, Rag Eye Crew, just got back. Turns out tonight was a bigger deal than you had originally anticipated. Yes, we are anticipated. now well versed in high school. You guys. Bro, high school? I thought this was like orientation on junior high, which it was a lot, but because I have a ninth grader now, we're beginning high school. Gee, I can't wait till I go to high school. Well, I was saying this after you guys left. Technically, that is a freshman in high school, correct? Yes. You are now a freshman in high so school. So this next this. year, and it's like I knew all of this stuff, but it's like it hadn't you really like it. hit me or sunk in yet. Yeah. He is starting to check off all of his credits for high school. Dude, I know. that's crazy. I'm trying to do as much as Ryder can do at his current school because mm -hmm. I think it will be a little bit more difficult at the high school. Stay as long as you can. One thing that's really cool, Ryder was recommended for honors language arts oh, next year. Well, 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 well. He is going to be doing honors. Wait, you are going to do it? Language arts, yeah. Step it up, bro. That's I'm talking about. Yeah. Dude, following in Maddie's footsteps. She was all honors, all A's. That's how she got a freaking scholarship to BYU, yeah. bro. This Fall is how it begins, literally right here. This is where it begins. Like, remember how we used to make fun of her because she wouldn't want to go on vacations because she wanted to study? <laughs> yeah, well, that she's, turned out to be paying so for her college. Smart. Talking with a guidance counselor, she told me the path to put Ryler on for math. Is it what? the yellow brick road? Oh. Ryler on the yellow brick road. He's <laughs> taking like secondary math. And anyway, she told me, have him take these maths. Is this from here through high school or is this mostly what he's going to take next year, ninth grade? Do we know what we're going to sign here up for tomorrow? Because tomorrow's the day. I do know what he's going to sign up for tomorrow. Certain yeah. classes we choose now Based make it on. so he'll be done with math as a sophomore, right? No, what? he'll be done with college math whenever he is a senior. Unless he chooses what? to be like awesome. And yeah, like an astronaut. Like yeah. Or something, which I'm good. Next year he's going to take an entire year of science and that will knock out almost all the credits he needs. I'm for do biology, earth science, astronomy, and zoology. You're going to do biology, zoology, and astronomy. Yep. Not earth science? No, because he can take that one as a sophomore. Biology sounds better. You have the whole list of all the electives he can take. We're hoping that one of his electives will be stupid. Go. Click the like button if you would vote for me. Like button better be literally catching on fire right now. But also, that is going down tomorrow. The election. So you will show your video tomorrow to the school. It will then go into their little private booths. The and time vote. you guys are seeing this, everyone will be voting at that exact time. You don't find out until Friday. So be patient. They we will said, let you know as soon as we Saturday. find out. They said maybe Saturday. Oh, wow. So that could be yeah. a long weekend. And we're going into spring break, dude. So it's either going to be a great spring break, going down our water slide, <laughs> aka sledding hill, or <laughs> celebrating your win. But there's also the appointed position. He said he would be super Whoa. bummed, obviously. He He'd roll with it. He'd be fine. He has some really cool ones that he has to take. Digital studies. He can take, what is the one you're wanting to take? Game programming. Oh, game programming. I was just going to ask you, what is one crazy dope one that Which you are hyped for? Which is a high school credit. Yeah. Game programming. Let me tell you how times have changed, my friend. Playing games was how you got in trouble for not doing your homework. Now you would have homework yeah. to create games and yeah. play them. I know. Oh my gosh, it's such a great one. Yeah, role. anyway, so <laughs> I feel like we're well versed in what we need to know now for high school. Don't you ever say that. All right, guy. Hype, not hype. Nervous. I'm just confused. Business as usual. All, right, wait, what okay. All the stuff. It's just like the whole credit system. I need to get a certain amount of credits. I need to have things lined up. Now we have 10 class periods instead of four each day. So we have We've changed the entire model of what junior high will look five like. Five classes each day. So we have first period, second period, third period, fourth period, and then two different lunches, separate ones, and then homeroom between and then Dude, fifth period. This is giving me a whole it's new world. Great. This is a whole new year coming up. Uh -huh. And that's all the time I have for tonight, you guys. Thank you for stopping by. And we have, oh, sorry. Forgot, you didn't get a chance to have any of your delicious dinner tonight. Mom did not get one of her delicious chicken sandwiches. I mean, I had a yogurt and chia pudding. So she had to have a bowl of cinnamon crunch Cheerios. What is it? Oat crunch Cheerios. They're delicious. They're really good. They're super put good. sugar on top. Mindy. It's kind of like me. I'm really good with sugar on top. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're gonna go snuggle. My favorite. <laughs> we do feel, I guess, you guys are more prepared. I feel really good. It can start registering tomorrow at three o'clock. The problem is, our boys will be in the temple. Do, 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 do. Oh. They're gonna be there. Well, um, hopefully, that will bring them some blessings to be in the classes they want instead of getting <laughs> so them. So I'll wait till they get out, out of the temple. <laughs> they did tell me, though, that they sign up all the ninth graders first because they have high school classes they need yeah, to fulfill. Yeah, they've gotta get those. And then they do the eighth graders. Those are priority. Graders. I just can't believe Crew is one year behind. He's literally on the heels of that. So everything Riley's doing this year, Crew will do next year. That just seems crazy. Tomorrow, it is early out day. It is Riley's election kickoff. I have to go to the DMV and get a new driver's license. I want to hear from Ryka how he feels like the video was received. You know, in years past, he had one that he felt like everyone loved and one that he felt like everyone hated. And I always feel a little bit responsible because I've been a part of the creation. But this time, it's all him. him. I'm very excited to see how this one goes. I hope it's the best one yet. It's going to be awesome. We love you. Thank you for supporting us and supporting our kids. We love you so, so much. You guys are the best. Good night, everybody. Bye. Beautiful, sunny, oh my gosh. spring day roll. I just have a little pep in my Gee, I can't wait till I go to hike.